Israel reportedly prepares for a potential strike at Iran nuclear sites. With Iran nuclear talks stalled, Israel reportedly appropriated $1.5 billion to prepare for a potential strike at Iran, as U.S. tested a new bunker buster bomb. Israel's Channel 12 reported Monday that the additional money set to be approved by the government in November would pay for aircraft, intelligence gathering drones and armaments needed for a strike against hardened Iranian nuclear targets. U.S. officials, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken have mentioned other options if Iran refuses to return to nuclear talks. Tehran suspended the Vienna negotiations in June after the election of Ebrahim Raisi, Risi, a hardliner handpicked by Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei. Although other options could mean taking Iran's case to the UN Security Council for imposing international sanctions, or simply augmenting US sanctions, Israel has been much more adamant that Tehran's nuclear program should be stopped at any cost. Estimates vary about when Iran could reach the nuclear threshold for a bomb, but both the West and regional countries are concerned that Tehran is building up its stockpile of enriched uranium, while refusing to negotiate, Israeli officials have warned on several occasions since August that if no options are left they would go it alone to stop Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. That could mean that Israel might not even tolerate Iran becoming a threshold state, meaning having all the components for a bomb but not actually deploying one. The U.S. Air Force reported on October 13 that a new 5,000 pound bunker buster munition was successfully tested by an F 15E Strike Eagle warplane on October 7. This means that the bomb can be launched from fighter planes and could be potentially used by Israel. The GBU-72 Advanced 5K Penetrator was released from 35,000 feet and hit a designated area surrounded by blast pressure sensors and fragment counting equipment, which helps to determine the weapon's lethality, the Air Force said.